and it'd be so cool if you could like walk around there and there was a secret area on the other side. Although, I think this is the front of the uh, parish, sure, if you will. Yeah, it is, so you wouldn't even be able to get anywhere. Well, they could have just had like a body on a high ledge. Either way, this area is already quite good. And I have to avoid going down ladders quickly or else I'll fall to my death, potentially. Because 60 FPS is fun. Uh, what am I going to do? I'm going to... actually, I'll just take the shortcut. Run away! Run away. Uh, hold on. I don't necessarily need to go... Specifically to Andre. Ooh. Increased damage makes these guys really easy to fight. Two hits and they're down. As opposed to the, like, seven that it was taking before. Alright. So, I need to... Yeah, next I would be going that way. Okay. I figured out the way that I will go. I don't need to go visit Andre. Again, because my weapon is already fully upgraded, and there will be more bonfires for me to access. So, what I can do is go for a, go for a bit of a jog. You know, a li little bit of a jog. Take off the helmet to possibly move faster? I don't... I'm not too sure on how weight influences running speed. All I know is about is the rolls. And rest the bonfire to reset the enemies. And... I'm going to have to bring the drake back either way. So I'll go this way. Go down here. Okay, the dragon hasn't come back. Oh, nope. Spoke too soon. I was about to walk back up there. I'm actually not sure why I did that. Because I need... to, uh... Hold on. I wasn't sure how that dude hadn't died the first time. I wanted to kill him. Um, okay, let's see. I want to stack my fire defense as high as possible, which doesn't look like I'll get more than that. That's a shame. Alright. Time... Actually, I'm going to go downstairs, sit at the bonfire, and level up a bit so I can spend some souls and avoid losing 10,000. So right now, that that's a decent number. That's at least four level ups. Um... Actually, I don't need stamina right now. What I need is more health, especially for the upcoming fight. I'll upgrade that a little bit. And head back up top. And that'll respawn all of these dudes. If you do want to do some early soul grinding in this game, or, um... Some humanity grinding before you kill. I think it's the go the gargoyles. Uh, you can just come here, and keep sitting at the bonfire, and then coming back up top, and the dudes will keep coming. They'll, they'll keep spawning, and the dragon can kill them for you. It's 565 souls each time, I believe, which is a decent number. What is the dragon doing? What happened? Did it just not breathe fire for some reason? I have no idea. Okay. Either way, we shall use the basement key. Okay, so I wasn't right about that. That is the basement key's usage. And we shall go down this ladder. I'm going to change it to 30 FPS. Just so I don't clip through the floor. 
And now we're back in beautiful six. I hope that doesn't mess up the record at all. I don't think it... I'm not sure what the need holding with both hands is in reference to. Or where that staircase even comes from. But... Back a ways, I was talking about a door in the Undead Burg, which is another example of the interconnectedness of the Dark Souls world, where this area serves as both a shortcut into the Undead Burg, as well as uh, just a excellent level. You did a fantastic job with the level design. And, if you want, you can stuck here, which, get out. Did I just screw myself? Did I go into the one spot that- Ah, okay. I... So the game just teleports you eventually. There's some spots you can jump up to there that do screw you and don't screw you, and I mix them up. And bait up the dogs. Playthrough is going to involve a lot of baiting. You could say I'm the master of it. <laughs> Come this way and find, I believe, another use for the town key. Somebody. The residence key, I think. Somebody, anybody, help me. Unlock the door. Damn, I'm finished. How did this ever happen? Brilliant. You opened the door for me. Thank you. I'm saved. I thought I might never escape. I am Griggs of Vinheim, the sorcerer of the school. I am much obliged for your assistance. Thanks to you, I may now resume my travels. So this guy will now sell sorceries back by all the shrine. Oh, hello. I'm fine. I will rest a while, then return to Firelink Shrine. I have my sorcery. And I will be more cautious next time. Besides, I have an important task at hand. But I don't care about sorcery, so whatever. Oh, hello, I'm fine. I have best Oh wow, he only loops after two talks. Then you get everything right there for casting sorceries, except for sorceries. And now a bunch of dudes with torches. Whoa! And that is how quickly things can go bad in this game. One moment, two of them were swinging, and I was I blocked both of them. The next minute, I was dead. Welcome to Dark Souls. But, that lovely shortcut that we opened now allows us to take this path. Oh, it, oh, it, oh. No bueno, senor. Damn, they're all coming down here. Hit the man's feet. And there is a neat little uh, skip you can do. Get down here a lot earlier than you're supposed to. Um, it requires climbing up a ladder, dropping onto a ledge that kind of only exists for visual purposes. Um, and then going from that ledge and making a kind of ridiculous jump at a very sideways angle in order to go over an invisible wall and then puts you just down here. He's awesome. Aw, oh, you butthole. There we go. Now. Speed! And some more lovely humanity, which I'm going to need a bunch of for a later quest. Well, not quest. Character storyline, I shall say. And... Those crash open. 
some little buggers come out. But these guys are quite susceptible to the good old Dark Souls 1 side strafe and backstab. Well, so strafe. Side strafe would be moving side to side, not around them. It's gonna say something about this being pointless. Oh no, imminent detour. I don't know. Now, should be able to bait the dog. Also, the fog gate hasn't spawned in, so that's cool. I wonder if I can see the exact moment that it spawns in. And the dog's body is gone. It has decided to travel to the afterlife a bit early. Who are you rolling from? Damn, the double kill. Let's go. Bandit's knife, let's go. There's the fog gate. I wonder if the fog gate despawns if I move away from the... Or if I move away from it now. It does! Okay, so it's about... Right... Here. Yeah. Interesting. And I believe this is another humanity. Oh, no, it's a soul. Alright. And then one of these small rooms contains the thief set, along with a target shield. Which I think the target shield in this game works identical to Dark Souls 2. Yet small shields are always less stable, but landing critical hits after parrying is easier. This shield is specialized for parrying. So, if you look at the parry animation, compared to something like the Dragon Crest shield, it's a much longer, it's a longer active window meaning parrying is easier with it, but it's also just a less defensive shield. Alright, now, for a boss fight that may as well be RNG. Oh, please live. Oh, I'm trapped by dogs. Oh, go! 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 Somehow alive? Not gonna question it. Oh, please don't be up here. That's not okay. Thank you. Alright. Welcome to the Capra Demon fight. If it weren't for the dogs, I wouldn't be doing this. Alright, the dogs are dead. But I now have to get down from here. And I may as well abuse the situation whilst I'm in it. Get some very solid damage. So for this fight, you can just keep climbing up there and abusing it, but I'm actually gonna fight him, because I actually kinda like the fighting Capra Demon. He's got a well-designed moveset that is both easily abusable, as well as challenging to learn. But I have spent a lot of time playing this game, and also, if it wasn't just for the foliage and surrounding area being terrible, this fight would also just be a lot easier, less annoying. But they decided to put it in a very small area. And now I need some stamina. Stamina, please! Back up a little bit, get more stamina. Ow. Oh, let me heal. Oh, that didn't work. There we go. Capra Demon has been defeated. But yeah, that fight is infamous for... It's difficulty, but the difficulty stems from the fact that you start the fight getting rushed by two dogs and the boss. Whereas the Taurus Demon gives you at least an opportunity before he appears 
to deal with the first of the threats? 